years. This was pressed in 1996. Now it's uh, 2016. <laughs> so to celebrate that the secret of the black arts just turned so fucking old, Dark Funeral repressed it. Conveniently repressing this year with uh, the release of their uh, upcoming album, which if you've been following this band, it's like it's about fucking time. They talked about it was going to be released last year, an album from them, which basically never happened. Uh, I got the white vinyl with this repressing, and it's on a really heavy 180 gram, fucking super, super fucking nice. It's available on black as well, and it, checking the numbers as it was selling, it looked like uh, more people were buying the black. Because I always check, you know, <laughs> how many are in stock, cause, uh, if, I, if I need time, like I can't really buy right now, do they have a shitload or what? So. I saw that the black was selling more, but whatever. I wanted the fucking white vinyl for a dollar more. Um, yeah, printed inner sheet here, some band photos. I fucking love this. Like this all, it comes with a poster, but like I almost want to just fucking frame. Yeah, I might. I might just fucking frame this. This fucking picture right here. That's fucking brutal, dude. I fucking love that shit. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Um. Yeah, I'll show you the poster too. It's just the you know the artwork. It's these damn. I mean, it's great that they're square. I mean, you, you get a bigger poster, I suppose. But I like these ones that fit my frame just right. I mean, even that eight position one, I'm a little small. But whatever. Uh, it's just the artwork. Uh, obviously, the upcoming Dark Funeral album has the same artist, Necrolord. More famous, you probably know his artwork for Emperor. Or Bathory, fucking Bathory. But man, I fucking love his the Emperor artwork. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, we're not talking about Emperor, we are talking about fucking Dark Funeral. Actually, my last video I showed uh, <laughs> the Dark Funeral's, uh, the vocalist side project with the split and this band Grey. I showed the Grey 7 inch. But again, we're not talking about Grey, we're talking about Dark Funeral. Uh, I'm just so excited this came in. Uh, it's really nice quality. Uh, so I'll give you a look at the inside here. And it looks like uh, they've dedicated this uh, to Black Moon, uh, who died in March 19th of 2013. And if you look in the credits, he actually uh, wrote a lot of the songs you're listening to, aside from being a part of it. Uh, so, aside from that, I'm going to show you, I've got three records out. These are the things that I have been spinning the most. I keep, I spin the fuck out of these. I want to show you this one first. This is the newest record I got. Uh, before this one, I got Al Mirkby. I'll take it out, you can't really see it. I'm going to take it out of the sleeve. Uh, this is Al Mirkby. Uh, the album is called Pupil of the Searing Maelstrom. This is a band from Iceland. I've been really into the bands from Iceland right now. Uh, specifically, my wife just went to Iceland and brought me back. Uh, the next album I'm going to show you, uh, but you can see here it's this like thick cardstock with these lines in it, and you can feel the lines, and the printing's almost like a like a screen printing or something. And you know you got the in the shape of an eye. I imagine that's why it's the pupil of the searing maelstrom here. You got a um, the star printing. Now I expected that this was going to be like a blue hued. Uh, jacket but when it came and I opened the packaging and it was black I was actually surprised so I think I'm just making this up in my own mind uh, because it's printed on two different color variants the one I have which is a uh, clear with a uh, blue splattering and then there's also just a regular transparent so I think there's a different color sleeve that goes with my, I correct me if I'm wrong but the record itself is fucking beautiful man this fucking clear clear with the the blue. I mean, it's not all the way transparent, but hey, man, this music. If you are into atmospheric black metal, like this is some of the fucking best. And this is new. This shit just came out. Uh, printed in her jacket, which obviously I keep my records separated from. Because it's a one-man project. I guess I didn't even mention that. This is um, the solo project of the guitarist from Sinmara. So if you know Sinmara, uh, actually. Canyon Bickle just showed a Sin Mara record he got. He just got a shitload of records from fucking Territory Possessions uh, record label. That if you like uh, this 
Icelandic Icelandic bands. You'll need to get familiar with that label. Man, I got lucky. Uh, this record was for sale on Hell's Headbangers. Dude, they had like three copies of this. So if you've been looking for this and you're in America and you want one, it might be too late, but fuck, dude. That's a uh, Almiric B. Uh, Pupil of the Syrian Maelstrom. This is shit. And I was led towards it because of this album. Uh, this is one my wife brought back from Iceland. Dinfari, Vegberg Timmons. Uh, I looked up what that meant. I don't remember. Something about time. I think that Timmons is time. And I'm assuming that this is the band's logo, but it also seems like a pretty common logo I've seen a lot. I don't know if that's uh, maybe they're playing off of a common logo or what. Uh, it does come with a jacket printed near, pretty near sleeve. Just a picture of a, assume, a spot out there in Iceland. So yeah, I sent my, well I didn't send her, she was in Iceland and I asked her uh, to see if they had a Solstavir record. And uh, while she was there, she surprised me. Got me this. And it's only available on Black Vinyl, I think. I think. I think that's only available on Black Vinyl. But uh, I'm not really sure where you can get this if you don't live in Iceland. If you live in Iceland, then, uh, I, I forget the name of the store she went to to get this one. It might have been Tonar. I think she got she got this one from Tonar, and then for the Solstafir record, she went to the label that is on the record. But yeah, this is Dinfari. Uh, again, atmospheric black metal. These guys are fucking masters of the genre. Like, this is really masterful. I was surprised. Really surprised. My wife was happy too. She's like, how much I fucking like it. So you can see there's just like that one dude. Like, one dude way out there. He's just fucking way out. I love this album artwork, man. And when you listen to like this atmospheric black metal album, this is a great representation of the way that this music feels. So yeah, that's fucking... Dinfari, you gotta check this out. New, new album as well, that just came out. Uh, the last record I got here, uh, like I said, uh, Canyon Bickle, uh, showed that fucking Sin Mara record. Uh, a week ago, he showed this album, uh, Masarthum. The band's called Masarthum, it's spelled like Me Sarthum. Masarthum, it's a, uh, the album's called Isolate. Obviously from the spacey cover, the lyrical content is uh, space themed, I believe. I believe, actually, I, don't, I can't understand the lyrics for this uh, atmospheric black metal project. Uh, the big difference here, as I just called it, atmospheric black metal, you uh, mentally will paint a picture now of, of something a little more raw, kind of like what you're hearing in the background. Yet, you know, with a with a feeling of uh, of avant garde, I suppose. This uh, is not that picture. It is that, but also synthesizer. A lot of it. A lot of it. And it's very melodic use of synthesizer. It's not just um, not just like a uh, like a background. Just ah. There's a lot of melodic parts. Like it's it's leading the fucking the atmosphere. But it, it, it's not too much. It's a beautiful, perfect, perfect blend of the two. Just black vinyl. Uh, the the pictures here, stickers, you know, are the same on both sides. Just a difference in hue. Um, but yeah, man, I, I fucking love this Masarthum. Uh, when, when Canyon showed it, uh, he just gave a little lick of it, and I, I'd heard of. I heard like maybe a minute of the band and I knew immediately like fuck this is good and I waited until I had the vinyl copy and I, was, I got lucky and I found this on fucking Amazon. The seller that had this still has like I think two or three more. I think the seller was called um, Metal Hit or something. Either way you can just search Masarthum's Isolate on Amazon and if it's still there you'll, you should find it. And I think it was like $14 after shipping it just came out. I think shipping was like $3-$4. Cheap considering that I believe there's only a hundred of these, if I read correctly. Either way, uh, it's a solo project from Australia. There's really not much to know to learn about them. I mean, it, the artist name it shows is just an O. You can see that. And uh, 
I don't think this is even considered a bullying, but it's the closest thing to a bullying that they have, that he has, they have, I don't know. I really don't know, oh guy. But this is masterful, and I believe you will, you will really, 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 really be glad you check this out. Unless you fucking hate synthesizers, I know there's like that, I don't know, that hatred for anything. I'm an accordion player. You know, and uh, that's like an instrument some people like, ugh, yeah, it's bad, but fuck. Can't help but love it, man. Anyway, uh, that's all the records for today. Uh, Hail Satan.